a lot of things going on on the farm today. We moved the cows over a couple days ago, but we're just moving a fence over now. So that's what we're doing. And we also have cows right here, chilling in the shade. It's like close to 80, a little humid. Yep. Another thing we did this morning was we gave Red Hot and Darlene their shot, the pour over to keep bugs and ticks and whatever else off of them, and um, fly ear tags, although we couldn't get Red Hot because he was a little uh, mad. And now, I'm over here with Hunter as he's uh, rolling up the string. I think he's a little frustrated. Why? I can tell on your face. Yeah. But it's a lot better than taking two hours to untangle the damn thing like I did last time. So this is a little bit more um, time consuming in the front end, but it's easier in the end. So I'm actually going to help him do this and uh, go from there. Do you know how to tighten it? Yep. Showed me. How do you? I'll show you. In the camera. Sure. So we measured this from the fence all the way at the beginning and we're just using the same ones. Am I in the, in the screen? Yeah, how you are. But just on the bottom. Corner. It just didn't look like it. And so it actually seems to get a little narrow narrower as we go up the the pasture. So at least it's not shorter. So I'm going to oh, have yeah. to tighten it, which is not a big deal. It's pretty Sing. easy. I just got to take, unknot it. Did you do that right here too? Uh, we did it on the other side actually. But dang, there you are. Is it tight? No, not quite. Oh, well, it's pretty tight. You don't want it too tight where it's pulling it too much, but... That should be good. It's not in your boot. Yep. I'm just gonna wrap it around the wire so it doesn't fall on the ground. Tie it to the top one too, maybe? No, why would I do that? So, I don't know. Just naming out ideas. Well, then it would be across, and I just want it on here, so it's, what, it's just like the line. Mm. And I'm not doing like a super tight not because I want to be able to undo it. Oh, it's actually sharp. But it's pretty tight because I wrapped it around. All right, well, that's our chores for today. We actually have plans to go to a friend's house. That's what we needed to get everything done in the morning. Even though we didn't get everything done, we got quite a few things done. And uh, so, yeah, that is our vlog for the day. And we'll catch you later. <laughs>
Okay, so I came out to spray Hazel for some flies because they were just all over her. And I walk over to where the water spigot is here and it's just gushing water. So I was like, well, okay, so I'll turn it off. And of course, nothing happens. And I turned it the other way. Maybe I didn't turn it off because, you know, I might not have turned it the right way. And nothing happened. So I figured it was broken and we'd have to do a fix. Well, once we un, um, well, once we dug the hole right there, we determined that it just came undone. There's no breaks, no nothing. So we went ahead and just sealed it back up. We're gonna leave the water off. We're actually headed out to go to a friend's house at the moment. So there'll be four or five hours for it to dry and we won't have to worry about water because we turned the water off for the whole house and um and then hopefully it'll be we'll finish it when we get home and it'll be dry and we'll turn it back on and everything will be good so that was totally best case scenario we didn't have to go to the store buy any new parts and uh so yeah we're pretty excited about that Well, that's good. Did you turn it on for the cow's have water? Not yet. I Should want we? To see if there's a whole pressure first. Oh. It looks fine now. It does look alright. Baby girl. Hmm. Wait, I'm gonna turn it on. Good. Did you do this, Hazel? Yeah. 